good morning wrestling fans. Today is March 14th, 2023. I am Lance Brack here, your host as always for GMWF, the talk some pro wrestling this Tuesday morning. And on today's episode, I want to just start off, going to do a quick recap of last night's Monday Night Raw. Maybe not like a full one, but just talk a little bit about the episode from last night. Raw was live from Providence, Rhode Island at the former Dunkin' Donut Center. I can't remember what the current name of it is now. Commentators Kevin Patrick and Corey Graves. We start things off with WWE Hall of Famer, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. And he calls out Finn Balor. And Balor definitely does not make him wait long. He comes out along with the rest of Judgment Day. And it is now official. It's been talked about for a little bit. And now we find out that it will take place at WrestleMania Edge versus Finn Balor in Hell in a Cell. And Finn Balor says they will face off at Wrestlemania but for tonight and then Judgment Day enters the ring to attack Edge and then at this time Johnny Gargano and Dexter Loomis come out and make the save and that leads to an impromptu matchup to start off Monday Night Raw And Edge is gone, though. I thought maybe this would be a six-man tag. But I guess they didn't want to use Edge in this one. So it was just a tag team match with Judgment Day defeating Gargano and Loomis. For this Hell in a Cell match coming up at WrestleMania, which I believe will be the third or maybe... Fourth Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania, maybe. And Finn Balor is kind of teasing the demon character, which will, which will be interesting because I could be wrong, but I want to say this is the first time we'll see in WWE, anyway, a heel version of the demon. I expect Balor to go over and maybe Edge. I'm going to say this be his last match, but maybe his career be winding down. And Cody Rhodes, the number one contender for the Universal Championship, defeats LA Knight. Bronson Reed defeated Elias we see a backstage confrontation with the United States champion Austin Theory and the Street Profits. And that leads to a one on one match with Austin Theory defeating Angelo Dawkins. Seth Freakin' Rollins defeats Baron Corbin. Also, in the back, he was trying to get The Miz to let him to be his co-host of WrestleMania this year. But The Miz did not give him that job. He turned him down. Which is no surprise. We have the Raw Women's Champion 
Bianca Belair defeating Chelsea Green with Carmella in her corner. And then after we see Asuka, the number one contender for Belair's championship, come out and do a little more of her mind games. And in the main event of Monday Night Raw this week, we have Kevin Owens taking on Solo Sokoa. And it's a pretty good match here in the main event. Solo leading Owens to the back. Where, and as soon as he gets through the curtain, he is met there by the Usos with a double super kick. And then... Usos and Solo drag Owens back to the ring. It's a three-on-one beatdown. Earlier in the night, Cody Rhodes offered some help to KO, but he said again that he wants to do it on his own. He doesn't want anybody's help. Just like he turned down the help from Sami Zayn. But I'm guessing that something will happen between now and Mania that could set up this tag team match that's been talked about. The Usos taking on Owens and Zayn. We will just have to see how or if the match does get set up. So that was last night's Monday Night Raw. And not a bad episode. I'm going to say a real great episode of Raw either. But I didn't think it was too bad anyway. Getting closer to WrestleMania about uh, 19 days, I think they said last night. I could be wrong, but I think it was 19 days. That little video package that we usually get heading into Mania. So far, the build has been okay. Could be a little better. And that's it for this episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone for tuning in to Spreaker. Hopefully this week 360 Wrestling Connect will return at some time. Or at least I hope so anyway. And thank you once again for tuning in today on Spreaker for wherever you are listening. I'll be back tomorrow, though, for good night wrestling fans. Until then, though, keep watching pro wrestling.